SimCity is a very interesting game. The last one came out 10 years ago, and SimCity 4 came out 20 years ago. But now 2023 is almost over, and we've heard nothing about a new SimCity. Instead, everyone right now is super hyped about City Skylines 2. And while I will probably buy that game, I've been feeling a bit nostalgic. So today, I thought I would start a new city, and I wanted to see how far I could get in one in-game year. We'll name our region something familiar, we'll pick a cozy spot to start our city here on the lake, and we'll immediately start just disrupting the natural environment to build a big, disgusting city. Now, the game starts you off with a pretty decent amount of money, but my goal is going to be to work my way back to 100,000 simoleons by the time that we reach one year in this city. And I mean, time's ticking. It's still January, year one, but we are cruising right now. I also want to avoid having a lot of traffic and you can't have gridlock if you don't have grids. So I'm just gonna make the wackiest roads possible in the hopes that uh, <laughs> going against the grain that much makes people too confused to get stuck in traffic. They'll just stay at home, which they should. And I wanna make sure by at the end of this year, there are no more problems or alerts plaguing my city. Anyway, we've already set up some residential. That's what this green is. And we've set up some commercial. That's what this blue is. We're gonna set up some industrial and try to create some jobs. If we wanna start making some money, it's gonna be important to have a lot of jobs. One thing I absolutely love about this game compared to other city builders is that when I put down a water tower, the water tower begins providing water without me having to do anything else. The pipes are built into the road. The same can be said for electricity. All of the wiring for everyone's power is also built into the road. So as long as you put it right off the road, everyone's gonna have power. It looks like I've already been approved to build a town hall. That was very quick. Fortunately, it is free. <laughs> There's not a lot of free buildings in this game. So let's take advantage. If we put a town hall, everyone's gonna get super, super happy with us, which I love to see. And that town hall will unlock the ability for us to name our fair city. So I'm gonna call it Quackdale. Now, right now we're making negative 28 simoleons an hour. So not great for my goal of getting 100K. We need to start spamming more residential. We need people to begin paying us taxes. We also just got a petition approved to build an oil well. And you know what's pretty interesting? We have a lot of the liquid gold right here next to our industrial area. Unfortunately, we're a bit too poor to do anything about it. That's okay though. Let's use the money we have to make some really, really wacky roads. They'll all kind of like connect, hopefully, <laughs> in different ways. Maybe maybe some of them will dead end, uh, which isn't going to be great for my, my goal of not having a lot of traffic. But I, I'm trying really hard to get us a bunch of roads so that we can have neighborhoods all over the place because you can make a lot of money in this game by having a lot of people living in your city. At this point, the game is trying to help me with road placement, but it's just not sure what I want to do. I do need these roads to connect because that's going to help reduce traffic, giving people a lot of options as they're driving around. Let's also connect one here to the very big road. And I hope these neighborhoods fill up soon because this means that there's nobody working in these businesses. I don't have a lot of businesses here and I think I let these houses sit a little bit too long because now these brand new commercial businesses are about to go under. So let's speed up time here and try and get some folks moved in. We're filling up rather quickly with some single family homes and I think the traffic is moving really, really well. I'm gonna go ahead and build my first sewage depot. I, I'm surprised I went that long without having that. I'm not sure what people have been doing in lieu of uh, you know, not having a place for their sewage to go. But we, we got it now, so that's good. And look how happy everyone is with all these amenities. I can finally take a shower now that I have water. This town is tiny, I hope it grows. What? Like I was saying, everyone here is pretty happy. It's now February and I've just kind of let things sit for a little while. I wanted the money to start to roll in a bit more because I would really like to build us a uh, an oil well or an oil drilling area. And that way we can start to, I think, export oil, which will really help with the town's income, and I think help knock this 100k simoleon goal out of the park. Without building more roads, though, I think the smartest thing I can do is just keep building neighborhoods. I want to be careful not to put too many by this industrial area because I think people won't be super thrilled about living here, especially once I do start drilling for oil. I don't know if I want that many houses kind of immediately around that area. I just want to save this for mostly industrial. So we will work with what we got, but I do think here in the very near future, I might want to take a road and maybe go out here or something just, just to get some more houses and stuff and bring in more money, but not directly on top of the most disgusting area in the whole city. Another thing our city is gonna need is, you know, some education. So if I go ahead and put a school 
about right here, you can kind of see the impact is most immediate right around the school, and then that green glow starts to fade a bit. And really, next to the school are a bunch of commercial buildings, so it might be smarter to actually put the school where it's going to, you know, kind of be around more people. And, you know, the school probably doesn't care if, if they're drilling oil in the backyard, right? So that should work. It looks like we're also going to need to build some bus stops uh, so people can actually get to the school. And uh, <laughs> this was a mechanic I did forget all about. So I don't know how far away we should put these. Like, do we put one right outside the school? I guess so. So the buses stop there. And then I guess we just kind of like scatter these around in, in different spots. And then everyone gets access to the school. I, I guess by this logic, I could have put the school wherever I wanted as long as there was a bus stop nearby. But all right, whatever. Look. Look how happy everyone is. It's working. One thing the game is recommending I do is build a tray depot. And if I do want to export oil one day, this will be something that I need. So I'm going to go ahead and put it right here. Hopefully this brings in some money in the short term because the oil drilling is going to cost like 37,000 simoleons or something. But I'm not sure that's going to be the case because it looks like I need to actually outfit this trade depot with specific types of storage. So in my case, crude oil storage is going to be, I think, required if we want to get, you know, oil imports and exports. So I'm going to make this, but I feel like I'm wasting my time and money <laughs> because I don't have the oil yet. I have a habit in these games of just kind of sitting around waiting for money to come in, but I think we can speed this up by maybe making some parks around the neighborhoods. And the reason you do this is so that people will feel like their properties are worth more, and then suddenly you'll see things start to expand. But you know, I've already kind of put a lot of houses alongside the roads here, so unfortunately, some of these parks will come at a cost. And it looks like everyone was pretty happy about that, so those neighbors must not have been that great anyway. I do feel as though this type of construction could lead to some larger properties and therefore more people living in our city. If we can increase population density without increasing any kind of like land consumption, meaning, you know, more roads everywhere, I think we could be in pretty good shape to try and move a whole bunch of people in and make a bunch of money. There are, of course, other ways to make money quickly, like raising taxes or getting a bond. And a bond would get us 25,000 simoleons right now, and it would allow me to buy my oil drilling. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And I think we could pay this back relatively quickly because we're about to become super, super rich. We'll just go ahead and put this in the most filthy spot we can find on the map. The local residents were not really thrilled about that so we'll make it up to them with another park anyway here's where things get fun because now we can click on our trade depot we can manage our deliveries and we can decide to use our oil locally import oil or we can export the oil and that is exactly what we're going to do anyway while the money starts to pile in it looks like we have a concerned citizen saying that there's reports of some crazy guy that calls himself dr vu threatening the region there's only one way to defeat him maxis man we have to bring him back we need a bit bigger of a town to give him a proper home maybe then he'll come to save the day <laughs> okay so i've taken on a quest i'll get 5,000 simoleons for doing that Essentially, we need to get 2,500 residents, plop a Maxis Manor down, and then send Maxis Man out on patrol. This is probably from the Heroes and Villains expansion, which I honestly don't remember buying. I reinstalled this game today, and it just kind of like gave me all the expansions. I don't know if that was some kind of deal that they were running. I don't know. But anyway, I guess we have superheroes and villains to worry about as well. I, all I'm worried about is making money. So if increasing the population is what me, they want me to do, then I need to kind of figure some things out. Oh boy. First of all, I should probably get a fire department because if we're going to have more residents, we're going to have more of these types of issues. And I don't have fire. I don't have police. I don't have anything. I made the mistake of clicking on the trash can icon, and it seems that people are rather upset about the amount of trash they have to deal with, which... I understand. Unfortunately, I don't really have any money to deal with it right now. I already took out one bond. You're just going to have to deal with it. In other bad news, it looks like classrooms are full in the school now. And we're into April and everyone is still living in a tiny home. I don't think this will increase the size of the homes, but fine. I finally can afford a place to dump all the trash. 
So we'll go ahead and cover them there. And things are just going from bad to worse because now I'm finding that we're running in the red at the moment. How high can I raise taxes before people get really, really upset? Like is 12%, hmm, 12% didn't do too bad for us. Okay, I won't be a tyrant, we'll leave it there. This will eat up almost the rest of our money right now, but I'm gonna build another medium density street. Of course, this now means we have less money than we've ever had and, and now people's houses are starting to uh, <laughs> fall apart. Actually, this house was on fire. Maybe the fire department just didn't get there in time. Now I'm getting another quest to get 2,500 residents and we can incorporate ourselves as a small city. So I'll, I'll tell them I'll do it, mostly because I think that's just gonna happen whether I like it or not. Now I'm just gonna have to build even more roads everywhere though, just to get houses anywhere I can. It's beautiful. Look at how excited they are to live in Quackdale. We did just complete our goal of getting 2,500 residents, which means we can plop down Maxis Manor. Affording Maxis Manor is another story entirely. So 2,500 residents was for Maxis Manor. And then 5,000 residents was what we needed to become a small city. So we actually are halfway to being a small city, which is disappointing because I misinterpreted what they said. Now I need even more roads. Well, all right, you asked for it. Listen, I know it's still a pretty small town, but <laughs> you got to admit, there hasn't been any traffic with this design, okay? This might actually have unironically solved traffic. I'm not super worried yet about more schools and just more amenities for the people living here. They're not gonna like that. They're not gonna like my priorities, okay? But listen, I have my own set of priorities. I just need people to move in here, okay? Once you move in, you can have all the buyer's remorse you want. That's not my problem, that's fine. I just need to get this place set up for success. I was trying to avoid putting too many houses on like streets like this, but I'm getting desperate too. As you can see, I don't have like a ton of room for more roads, so we're just making do with what we have. Anyway, we'll speed things up. It's almost, nope, it is May. And so now we're just gonna watch all of this fill in. And then once we uh, have some houses down, I think with all these new roads, that should get us to 5,000. And there it is, 5,000 residents. We are not even like halfway done filling in all these new spots. That's great. This means we can upgrade the town hall. Oh, that's exciting. I wasn't expecting fireworks. And now I guess this is permission for people to upgrade their dwellings to nice big dwellings where more people can live above and below them. I have 22,000 simoleons. I really do want to save up to 100K before the end of the year, but we should probably build our first clinic. I'm not really doing enough to care for the citizens. They don't have any health coverage until today. I mean, I'm making all of these residents live next to these big disgusting factories. We were long overdue for that clinic. Another thing I've been asked to do is add a department of finance and that way we can tax different classes of people at different rates, which is pretty interesting, but I don't exactly have enough money. These are the different departments we can add to the city hall. And I think this is a great feature, by the way, getting to go into buildings and just adding stuff to them. I love that. I love that level of customization, but uh, yeah, I'm just always so broke. And I think taxing different classes of people is kind of silly right now because I think everyone is pretty much on par with one another. <laughs> and that is to say, they all live in the smallest dwellings possible. And there's like nobody that seems to have it better than anyone else. I guess you could count the people who live near the school to be in the upper class in this particular city. But uh, that's about to change because I've been saving up my money and I almost have enough to buy another grade school for this half of the city. We'll put it right about here and then we'll go ahead and start to set up some more bus stops as well and get education to as many people as possible. Speaking of adding stuff to buildings, another thing I forgot to do is <laughs> add classrooms. Instead of like building more schools, it would have saved me some money. So I'm glad I can do that. We just need to wait till we make a little bit more. And we can also add bus slots so we can get more kids to the school. We can add a sign for some reason. I'm not sure that was the best use, to my, use of my money when I'm you know, not doing super hot. And I did actually work my way up to uh, be able to afford one extra set of classrooms. So there we go. That should be hopefully enough to get this warning to go away. Uh, no, they're, they're having power, power failures now. So I think I just made it worse because the whole school is closed. What's weird is our power is actually reaching the school. It's... Oh, <laughs> I was gonna say, it's just not reaching here, but it is. I'm realizing now though, the reason the power is probably a little bit unreliable is because we just have one wind turbine powering the entire city. And that's great. That's great for this little wind turbine. But uh, when the wind dies down, so does the power. However, there happens to be more wind up here. So what we could do is build like maybe even just a little dirt road and get another power plant 
right up here. So hopefully our grid will be a bit more reliable. We'll go ahead and smash this janky dirt road through a factory. We'll put another janky dirt road up here and then we'll slap down our new power plant. Now, because it's a, just a tiny dirt road, this could become a traffic problem, which again, with how good my goal of 100,000 simoleons is going, this probably isn't what I should be doing right now. But I do like money. So I am gonna try and get some industry along this road. And if I need to, I can just upgrade it. We wanna throw a giant block party all night, man. We may toss out a bit more garbage during the party, but you don't mind, do you? You gonna let us throw our party or what? This mission will generate garbage. <laughs> How big of a party? You know what? If the reward is 25,000, you generate as much garbage as you need. You live literally right next to the garbage dump. This will be fine. In fact, you know what? I'll go ahead and upgrade your street for you. Since you are having a block party, you're probably going to need the space. And what's interesting is it says collect 250 cans of garbage before the time limit is up. And you see the garbage truck just kind of working, getting all the trash out of everyone's yard. I think we can do it. We have 20 hours left, and if they're successful, <laughs> we get 25,000 simoleons. This is the easiest money ever. Not to mention, I've been so distracted by this that we actually managed to rack up 71,000 simoleons. So let's go ahead and add another garbage truck garage just to get another truck into the mix here so we're successful. So we can also add an incinerator though. Ah, now that's, okay, that's unfortunate. It costs 25,000 simoleons, which is the reward. I'm not gonna do it. We, we almost are at our goal for making 100,000 simoleons in, you know, less than a year. I mean, on second thought, the city is getting kind of big. All right, fine, I'll incinerate your garbage. I knew that quest was too easy. It's also asking me for yet another garbage truck too. So this was a trap. That block party ruined me. Meanwhile, our clinic is over here turning away patients. When can we have a hospital? It doesn't matter. The hospital is way too expensive. Let's just make another clinic and put it way out here by the lake. This is gonna be the, the lakeside Quackdale Clinic and everyone's, you know, hopefully gonna get what they need now for uh, medical care. But don't worry, it doesn't end there because classrooms are once again full. I swear, they heard I have money now and they just became completely obsessed with telling me about all these problems. We can go ahead and add some more classrooms over here. And despite having two clinics now, we're still turning away patients. What is going on? Oh, yeah, I think I know what's going on. All right, fine, fine, I did this. Here is another clinic. I even took out a factory, so, ooh. Are people building larger homes? They are. Look, we're getting bigger homes. We're getting apartment buildings. Oh my gosh, our city is turning into a city. And what's really surprising is we've made it this entire run without putting down a single police station or superhero lair. I am gonna make Maxis Manor my next priority though because we do get a little reward for it and I just wanna see what happens when you add a superhero to the mix. Oh, well, here we go. I just watched a criminal walk down the street and go into this building where they are doing crime. <laughs> they're here at cheap business and I think they're shoplifting. Okay, yeah, maybe maybe we do need some kind of like law enforcement. I, I do hope Maxis Man is up for a challenge because this is a lot of money. The police station, I can afford that right now, but if I just wait a little bit longer, we can get a bona fide superhero and I'm banking on this, okay? I'm giving up the entire police force in order to just get one guy in a rubber costume to handle all of my crime. At some point we hit a population of 10,000, which is pretty exciting. We can now place down the mayor's house, which is my house. I'm gonna put that right next to town hall because why commute when you don't have to, okay? Would you be happy if you saw this? This is a house for one guy. One guy lives here and everyone's like thrilled about it. Oh, interesting. I have an alert about high taxes. Taxes are too dang high considering lowering tax rates. Aha, see, I knew this mansion was gonna get me in trouble. Everyone sees right through my game. I have taxes way too high, and they're really upset about the fact that <laughs> the mayor has a whole mansion to himself. So right now we have a 12% tax rate for all three major things here, residential, commercial, and industrial. If I lower taxes for residents, but I continue taxing commercial and industrial, that could maybe buy me a little bit of favor. In fact, let's lower it for commercial a little bit since there's just not a lot of uh, income there in general, and we'll keep industrial pretty high, because I mean, look at this, like th that's disgusting. We have even more crime. It seems to be really concentrated around here. So I think Maxis Manor should probably go right here. It destroyed a lot of their neighbor's homes, but they are realizing that they now live next to a full blown superhero. They're pretty excited. Save injured 500, some wait, I gotta pay every time. All right, fine, save some injured, I guess. Maxis Man is on patrol, all right. Look at this bold criminal doing whatever they want. Oh, the a B and E? They're just going into someone's house? Oh my gosh. 
This is this is madness. So wait, Max's man is going to help someone who's injured. Meanwhile, right next door, people are just getting robbed. All right, well, listen, I gave up the police force for this. So I hope Max's man can handle it. <laughs> is that, what is that little thing? Hang on. Are you delivering pizzas or are you a superhero? Guys, this cost me 40,000 simoleons. And this so-called hero is driving around in this little clunker. I don't see him saving anybody. He's just kind of wandering around Well, break-ins happen right by his house. And this place is like, I, I don't know. I'm really nervous about the crime around here. Like if you lived across the street from Avengers Tower, would you be super worried about crime in your area? What's also interesting is the amount of power consumption that is going on in this side of town. See, ever since plopping down Max's Manor, suspiciously, the power in this side of the city has gone into the red. It is now completely unreliable. And that issue is starting to spread and it's affecting City Hall. Not to mention crime is a growing threat, but I don't have as much money now. Now I can't afford the police station. Instead, I need to spend my money on power. Fortunately, I can add more wind turbines to one farm, which is pretty nice. I forgot that I could do that. So it should help a little bit, but I don't think this is a long-term solution. I think we kind of need to switch to like solar power, something a little more, you know, beefed up. I was scammed. Max's man made things 10 times worse. He got a government funded ridiculous mansion and he's now sucked up all the power. He's really not protecting anybody and I can't afford any kind of real law enforcement now. To make matters worse, we're halfway through the year, it's July, and I have 11,000 simoleons. The good news is the city is building itself up. It is starting to look like an actual city around here, which is exciting. That means the population is gonna continue to climb without me having to build road after road after road. We still need to find a way to raise our income though, so I think what I'm gonna do is try and add more of these oil pump jacks. They're 10,000 a piece. So I can afford two of them. I'm hoping more oil exports can kind of get us out of this mess. I hate to say it, but crime is starting to become a problem here. I think it's time we invest in a police station. Listen, I'll do it, but I, I don't know when. <laughs> Murderer on the loose. No sooner than I take the quest to at a police station, I get the news alert that a murderer is on the loose. I think I need to take out another bond. Now, if I'm reading this right, I haven't quite paid down my first bond, but if we get a police station and it encourages more people to move to the city, that means we'll be able to, you know, pay down those debts a lot faster. Since we have Max's man here, I suppose we could put the police station maybe kind of in the center of everything. And, oh, immediately, People start upgrading their homes to larger buildings. That's perfect. They do want me to expand the police force. And I think in this case, the way we can do that is by adding more squad cars. 10,000 simoleons for each one of these we add. Uh, let's see if one of these, you know, pairs of cars gets us what we need. For as big as our city is, right now our crime rate is five crimes per day, which I know we want zero, but that's... Not too bad. There's a lot of people who live here now. Anyway, as I feared, that new bond we got is eating into our profits heavily. So I am thinking we do need to raise our taxes again for everybody across the board. We're going to put it back up to 12%. That was working pretty well for us. And people were still moving in. So, I mean, listen, you guys wanted cops. Maybe you should have done more to convince me not to spend all our money on a stupid superhero mansion? What is this? We have quite a lot of crude oil here, Mayor. We don't really know what to do with all of it. We've not a lick of business in us. Sell it. Maybe if we had a petroleum HQ for this operation, we could get some guys in suits in here and make sure we sell this crude oil at the right price. I'm thinking if we add more freight truck garages, then maybe we can export more oil. These are 3,000 a piece, so we'll put down maybe just all four of them. Meanwhile, we can also add more oil delivery garages, and I think these are what's gonna bring the oil to the trade depot. It's very silly that they can't export that many being like neighbors to one another, but sure. So it now says it's drilling 3,800 barrels a day. That's probably thanks to the pump jacks. And with the multiple garages we just added, I'm hoping we can export a lot more than we've been exporting, which is going to bring us more money, if not unlock that petroleum HQ. I'm not super concerned about the petroleum HQ. Oh, there's a water shortage. Okay, I'm that's what I'm concerned about. Funny enough, there's a ton of water right here. So let's go ahead and put this maybe right there. <laughs> Oops, we took out a pretty big building for that. And that should solve the water issue. I gotta say, I'm impressed. One of these water towers, which is all the way over here, 
has managed to give water to this entire city for this entire challenge. It's August year one, and I had to just now make a second water tower. That's great. Anyway, with those upgrades, that should help our crude oil exports by a lot. I spent a lot of time on that, which means there's probably problems elsewhere, right? How's our education doing? Okay, no alerts. Police force seems happy. And we're just about to hit capacity on another clinic. It says waiting room almost full, which means it's telling me pretty soon we're gonna need another clinic. I'm gonna go ahead and plop one down, I think, because the last time I did this, we got a lot more really big buildings. I'm gonna put it right by the school, right here, and immediately home prices <laughs> shift because suddenly really big homes and apartments start going up everywhere. Look at that. Anyhow, the fire department seems happy. Waste disposal has no complaints, but the government thinks the taxes are too high. Well, that's okay. We can now afford the Department of Finance, which is something I was asked to build a long time ago. I'm gonna put it right there. That completed our quest for building a Department of Finance, and we now have a lot more detail in the taxes panel. Oh my goodness. It's hard to see, but there's these symbols down here that represent simoleons. So I assume this column is low income, this is medium, and this is high income. So we'll go ahead and drop taxes down for the low income folks. And then we're going to try and raise taxes for the higher income folks. This might take a lot because I lowered taxes to 10% for low income, but we're still running in the red. So uh, how much higher do I need to make these? And <laughs> how long before I get yelled at? I'm realizing that part of my issue is that I think most of my city is comprised of low income individuals. And so it looks like a 12% tax rate for the low income people is the best I can do, and that's a shame. But look, the high taxes don't seem to be diminishing anyone's pep in their step. The smiles all around. I love to see how green everything is. And even when the faces aren't as green, they're pretty content still. So yes, taxes may be too high. But if you wanna live in a city like Quackdale, it doesn't come cheap. I just discovered some buttons I didn't see before. There are different types of parks for different uh, income levels. And all of the tax problems I was having, you know, taxing high income people and not getting any money out of them, probably because I wasn't putting enough high income activities around these areas. So let's try something. We're gonna put down a large fountain park, which apparently is for, you know, a higher income level and we'll pop it right here did we destroy some homes in the process yes did we gentrify the area immediately yes but are there going to be more high income people to tax yeah yeah apparently so who knew that all you needed was some cement and some trees <laughs> to create <laughs> entire classes in a city let's go ahead and put this right about here oopsie do looks like some houses are getting torn down and replaced with <laughs> larger complexes. We don't need schools or police. We just need stupid parks. What even is this mess? The, the bricks are all messed up on the edges and there's just some benches and street lights. And then suddenly the largest buildings in the world are under construction. I just gotta get me a place next to Flower Bench Park. <laughs> These buildings are ridiculous. Our population is going to skyrocket. Now you know what's interesting? Ever since I started adding more parks and then subsequently adding a lot more wealthy people to the city, the cracks, the cracks are starting to form. All those smiles, you know, not as dense now. Taxes are too high. Taxes are too high. Taxes are too high. Taxes are killing us. That's pretty dramatic. But okay, fine. Now that we've solved the class issue by making things completely ridiculous, we can now lower the taxes on our lower income people. And because taxes were already raised up, we're still running in the green and we're able to lower taxes for our low income friends. I am the best mayor ever. What happened to these buildings? These are my first big buildings. Oh, oops. Okay. Well, all right, listen, the taxes were high, but I did I did lower them a little bit. We'll go ahead and get rid of those. And before you know it, some new businesses will come in at the new tax rate. We'll rebuild and everything. Oh gosh, well, everything will be fine. I don't know why this is under construction. Listen, I'm, I'm still a good mayor. I mean, look, we're in October year one and I have 100,000 simoleons in the bank, which is what I wanted. Now, I still need to keep that for December year one and into year two, but this is looking pretty good. I'm meeting all of my goals. I have like no traffic whatsoever and I have the money. I've hit the 100,000 mark, but can we get to 15,000 in population? I don't know, maybe we should ask some nature parks. A lot of people over here don't seem super happy, so here. Have a skate park. Oh, that actually worked. <laughs> a lot of them are actually a lot happier about that. There is some commercial demand that I've been completely ignoring. So I think what we should do is add 
maybe another road or two and see if we can put some shopping for some people. I'm gonna upgrade these dirt roads to medium density streets, which will cost a little bit. But in doing so, I'll be able to put down some commercial buildings and they will also get, I think, a lot larger thanks to the nice big wide roads. I think it would also be fun to put some houses up here just because this seems like a really cool spot. We'll also plop down a park just to make sure that we get some really nice houses over here. Evidently, our new commercial area was enough to kill power in the city. I've added some more wind turbines. It seemed to solve the problem, but yeah, we are going to need another power solution in the long term, I think. But we are getting pretty rich, so I'm going to go ahead and place down a solar farm because I think this is going to set us up for a good long time. Look at that thing, it's glorious. It appears that we're dealing with some backed up pipes now. It's just one thing after another. Everything's flowing as I would expect it to, but uh, what's going on? Oh, yeah, uh, hmm. There are no edit options, so I think that means we just need another place to deal with our sewage. And we're running out of time because it's November. We'll get back to that in a minute though. We can now upgrade City Hall, so let's go ahead and do that real quick. Yeah, 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 we got big problems, but listen, I wanted to see some fireworks. <laughs> but what I really came over here to do was add a Department of Utilities, and this is going to allow us to do something pretty cool. Instead of simply building a new sewage outflow pipe, we can now build a sewage treatment plant. I have the perfect spot for it way up here on this dirt road, way out of the way, and this should solve our sewage backup problem. There it all goes. Oh, that's kind of gross. I think it's about time we go ahead and add some higher education to the city. So I've built a community college, which should give everyone access to exactly that. We can also spend on a little flag outside, a sign, and when we're ready, we can add some extensions. No, they're too busy drilling for oil in the backyard. So this is it. This is this is the community college. It's very exclusive. Hope you managed to get accepted. It's now the dawn of December year one. I don't have much time to try and get this city in good working order. And the reason I say that is because taxes are still too high. I really need to clear this before year two. I've played with this for a while. And no matter what I do, I cannot get this construction worker to stop telling me the taxes are too dang high. So I think this one's just gonna have to <laughs> be what it is. It's kind of one of those things where if there are any taxes, they feel it's too high and I can't really operate a city like that, unfortunately. So I, I'm just gonna, you know, sometimes they're sad, tax season comes due, they get upset, but hey, like, listen, I got mine, okay? And with that, we managed to make it an entire year in SimCity. Let's see our progress. We did manage to make it into this year with having over 100,000 simoleons in the bank. I know it's dark out, but we really don't seem to have any traffic problems. I have never seen a single instance where cars were like backed up in any way at all. So we were successful there too. And I almost managed to clear out all of these alerts. Almost. I never quite figured out the taxes. Overall, SimCity is a great game. I love how approachable it is. I don't really have to think too hard when I play this game. I just find it really fun and relaxing. I'm also very much looking forward to City Skylines 2. And if that's something you want to see me jump into, don't forget to subscribe because who knows?